What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian states and I think we are about to see the final loss of New Orleans. We've held it in two massive battles against overwhelming odds but they, they just keep on coming so uh, I don't think we've got much of a shot. We'll try and do as much damage as we can. Um, I think they think we're just going to get overwhelmed simply. Um, yeah, let's try and fight the force under Vito Sparrow is not going to be involved in the action so at the very least uh, when we lose we can pull him back and uh and regroup we'll probably end up rebuilding um some armies in britain and on the iberian peninsula and maybe france we probably might want three yeah probably maybe like four or five like look at that's all we've got okay so the reinforcements usually came in from back here right <laughs> my mighty artillery just sit right at the back because my mighty line looks like to be honest I might just retreat no, on. I can't retreat because it's a city battle like we've got two good units so let's deploy them nearest the guns see our howitzers are still pretty good but they're going to be chucking out quick climb as fast as people can as fast as they can load it these three units can hug the border although you guys might not be doing much hugging I mean To be honest, these weakest units we can probably just retreat. I mean, I know our reinforcing army isn't good either. Although we can't withdraw, so we have to fight. I may as well keep them nearby. Let's put my riflemen ahead of my guns because I can have them deploy stakes. My engineers can also deploy stakes. So because it's a city battle, there's nothing we can really do about... Making units run? I mean, I might suicide my cavalry in. To try get some early reinforcements. <laughs> Hold. Hold until relieved. Although you're not actually going to be relieved. So yeah, my cavalry is going to suicide in. My curiosity is going to stay alive just because they are my general. I mean, what, I know what's going to happen now is the reinforcements are going to screw me over. So let's get involved. Let's so get you guys over here to go and knock out these guns. So we have a proper general's bodyguard, which means, well, my cuirassier can stay where it is. The regiment of horse is going to hold the flank here. Yeah, that unit on the flank is not good at all. Okay, just let my field artillery fire. These elite troops just get out over here on the flank. Oh, they're just levy. They aren't bowmen. General's bodyguard isn't coming after us. Let's at least knock out something for our with our cavalry. And they will pursue and destroy. Okay, get you guys away. I just can't help myself but trying to keep units alive. My howitzers are going to start opening up. 
to be honest, I probably... Okay, let's get my all my cavalry, charge the levy. Because I could do with some better units. Same with my... Actually, no, horse guards, I mean, they're not great, but they're, they're sturdy at least, if nothing else. Let my cavalry fight and attack one unit of levy. At least one unit of levy on their own, they might actually do some reasonable damage to. How it says focus on the general's bodyguard until they get within quick climb range. Yeah, they're going down. So you're the one that's going to be first in quick fire range, quick climb range. So we're going to switch you to quick climb. You attack that unit of bowmen. Can you fire as well? I don't like the flanking they're doing. That's why the hope is these cavalry will, if nothing else, they'll do some good damage to a levy unit, then they will run. And we get someone a bit more useful. That's a good quick climb target there. Okay, let's get my big battery. To be honest, get them all. Start shrapnel shotting. These incoming units, which means my quick climbing howitzers can start to attack some people a bit further back. That would be a good one to get. So my other cavalry unit, yeah, they, they stuck around for quite a while. It's a unit of artillery coming in, which you don't want. For you. Okay, you. Okay. So you're firing off your shots, you guys. Okay. Deploy. No, you guys don't attack them. All oh, my howitzers attack that unit of bowmen that's coming in right ahead, right in front of us. Cease fire, let the bowmen do it. You guys in limber and cover the right flank. Colonial line coming in. Cuirassier engage. Artillery to attack further on. You guys attack that unit there. Let's get this tiny colonial line formation <laughs> to uh, form up. Okay, the general's bodyguard have, have deployed. So you guys shrapnel shot the general's bodyguard from way back here. Oh, don't tell me you can't even shoot. Okay, let's try limber you up. Killed the enemy general. So that, so that would have been a bit of a surprise for them. Oh yeah, they're gonna... a new line so our cavalry is broken but we killed their general at least that's something but here comes their their line
This is when we suddenly realise, uh oh, we really don't have many men. Because you're, you are officially useless. Try to get my riflemen back. Try to get this line infantry over to here. My howitzers are now way too close. Yeah, maybe she just mobbed our line. Get our. Just get stuck in. Okay, now you guys try and unlimber. Try to get our howitzers back out of the way. You men charge the native auxiliary because the riflemen aren't going to last long here. Charge on into that unit of bowmen. You charge on into that unit of levy. You men all fire at will. Because the bows are coming in. Yeah. The guards have routed. These engineers can try and hit the combat, but no. Our guards are gone. They've gone, sir. They're all gone. <laughs> hey, look, that's a unit of actual size. Very well. Get back to the new fallback position. Thanks to the gun, that doesn't do anything. Shame to lose them, but they need to fight to hold the line. Let's bring my general's bodyguard back. Got another 24 pounder that will likely not work. So I'm gonna try and limber up. <laughs> no, they're done. They're so done. So how well are you doing? Not very well. That regiment of foot's going down. Oh no, they deployed their cavalry. Got another howitzer unit coming in. Yeah, we just we just really don't have the strength. It's, we've had two massive battles against overwhelming enemy odds. It's yeah. No, oh, where have you pushed up so far? What's that? It's all howitzers coming in. Okay, you better attack them. Because these guys need to unlimber. But they'll likely not work the same way as these guys. You men pour fire into the general's bodyguard. <laughs> really doesn't help that they've, they're they deciding to come in like single file like that because it's really slowing down our response time good now you guys get back pour fire into the ellies very well I'm going to limber these guys up and just run them into the cold embrace of death Twelve pound a foot on the other hand, a couple of them, actually those guys might work. Come on, you guys enter the field. Come on, they go let's bring you guys over here. No, you guys Okay, you guys attack the bow unit, because they might you might better make them rout. How these foot artillery just advance up. Man, this is a mess. Just charge. All my artillery fire at will. It 
So you guys actually have a shot at doing something useful. Because you could attack those native bowmen. You guys might get involved in this combat over here. These dragoon guards are coming over. Because I mean this. I don't like all of this. All of this is bad. Go on. Send my howitzers in to die there. Go on, men. Put a, vol a broadside into those horsemen. All right. Maybe not. Charge in. That's it. That's our reinforcements drawn up. Although I do like all of the... Uh, the the uh, the wavering that's all pretty nice. Keep charging on into the maelstrom, you guys. Form line, you guys get your asses back here. You guys form up. So hopefully horse grenadier guards can really do a number on the horsemen. Gunners, you guys, shrapnel shot. Focus on that general's bodyguard. I mean, this is it. We're not getting any more help. What we've got now is it. So uh, I don't foresee good outcomes because we have an entire army coming in. But yeah, you guys... Okay, let's, to be honest, let's run you guys around to the rear, maybe. Keeping the general's bodyguard stowed away. Okay, go over here. Try cut those enemy troops off. Shrapnel shot away. Two misses. It's two units of cavalry. That's going to really. That's what going to be what hurts us. Because even though they're light cavalry, they're still not bad cavalry. But the levy are going down. Very well. You guys focus on the levy here. You guys throw them over here as well. So that's a unit of levy done. Horse Grenadier Guards. Yeah, they're doing well against the horsemen here. You keep hucking quicklime at people. Good. Actually, they've got a little bit of a window of opportunity here. Drag men off of their horses. That could be pretty good. That levy is upset. I mean, the frustrating thing here is all the while we've got this General's Bodyguard unit firing muskets at the back of our line, so I might actually push you guys up a little bit. Oh no, you guys got hit by the levy. You guys, round shot. Quick, cast to shot the... No, you guys have to stay here. Let's hope we can knock out these scallywags in fairly good order. General's bodyguards routing from this combat. Understandable. Howitzers keep dropping quick climb on their axis of advance. You're not going to stop them. can't really rely on attacking ground we just have to drop it in drop it where they where they will have to end up marching through that unit of Delhi horse as in Zemadari horsemen is gone so let's run my cavalry round to the rear of this horseman unit because then things will start to look a lot well no they won't because our 
Okay, good. Uh, horse guards, get over here. New men, form up and engage. General's bodyguard. All these smaller units get over here. Enemy general has been destroyed. So now our flank here can actually advance. You men charge into the levee. You men all charge this last unit of levee. Okay, good. That's that's this. This uh, we can work with this. Okay, let's give a how it's actual targets now, because we can actually keep them away at a bit of arm's length. So you dragoons get back. get my elite my more elite infantry over here great quick climb here into that unit of Dakil who's that levy unit on the flank there we go blast that unit of bowmen you guys form line Guys are also pouring fire into that unit of bowmen. Let's make one of our howitzers start working on that unit of levy that might come in from a very funny angle. It's a lot of damage done to that levy unit. Okay, so you guys. Okay, you guys have done some. Sterling work, but we're going to pivot you guys like so. I mean, they're all clumped together here, which is lovely, but there's still plenty more where they came from. Okay, let's get back to... Forming up a line more like this. Maximise that firepower. Keep using our shrapnel shot. Howitzers attacking ground nearby. You guys start to attack some of these reinforcements coming in. Focus on the forward unit. New men hit that unit of bowmen. Everyone reload because there's a levy unit coming in. You men focus on that unit of bowmen. Charge my cavalry in to tie them up so they don't make it to the line as quickly. Attack, you guys cease fire. Let my dragoon guards get a handful of kills. There's another unit of bows coming in on this vector, so two howitzers focus on them. You continue to focus on that unit. So these guys that have reloaded. You guys hit that unit of bowmen. You guys go after that unit coming in. My horse guards carry on firing. Good, get them to charge in. Okay, 
no, don't charge in. You guys, so they've been pushed back. My howitzers focus on the ones to the rear. You guys focus on that unit, because you've got my fuel artillery to blow the crap out of them. Only one gun, though. But that'll have to do. Although, some of our units are now out of ammo. So the end is nearly here. They're out of ammo. You're out of ammo. Let's begin to pivot the advance. Because there's not a there's not a lot we can do. This is all they've got on the field, but it's not. We're not going to have. We've not got enough to do the damage we need to do. You focus on the bowmen, you guys. You guys also try to go for that unit. Are they bowmen? They are bowmen. It's another unit routed. See, these guys are now... Could dismount. So let's get this unit that's the furthest away to attack ground at short notice. You guys attack that unit. You guys pivot back. You men charge into the bowman here. Quick climb coming in. Tangential hit. Team and pour fire into this combat. My horse grenadier guards are holding up for you. So you focus on that bow unit there. You guys fall back. My grenadier guards chase them down a little bit, then pivot back. Fire it will on to engage the bowmen. You guys pivot. They've been quick climbed. You men charge the bow bowmen to trade ahead. If they've got no ammo, they may as well charge them to hold them up give us give the units that have more ammunition chance to get more shots off you men charge the bowmen there I mean the trouble is they've got now they've got too close so my little core of Fighting men is enough to actually break that unit there. You're enough to break that Dark Heel unit. Actually, let's bring them over here. You men form a fighting company here. You chase down that unit to make sure they don't come back. As much as you can, at least. You men pivot back around. Charge the bowmen. You guys canister shot that unit to to hell and back, because right now we've really not got the strength that we'd like. Oh, quick lime still coming. Okay, good. At least they're shattered. So you men come back. They're both routing. That Dakiel unit is going down. Oh my god. House is back here. Okay. Ch 
charge the bowmen. Okay, no, you guys stay out of the way a minute, because you might get hit. Let's keep our howitzers harassing these Dakiel units, because they're shattered. Halt fire. You men are going to charge the bowmen. Bring them into the fight. With swords in hand. You men switch to round shot. Begin engaging the artillery to the rear. You men join them. Grenadiers, uh, they must have been getting hit by enemy fire. Come on, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Keep fighting. Good, they're wavering as well. Come on. I haven't, I haven't uh, uttered the words that I, that I want to say deliberately for this moment. You guys don't shoot because when this bow unit, whoa! I said don't shoot. When this bow unit routes. The artillery is all they have on the field. Yes! Oh. Just let my howitzers shoot. Let my men, that include some of my most veteran units, run. And that's that could be a problem because I'm exhausting them, but I don't really have an option because if I don't run them, they'll get uh, mobbed by artillery fire so at the last possible minute I need to get my howitzers to stop firing and you guys to charge oh that's so sweet oh god attack attack the artillery oh Jesus even I'm surprised at that Oh my god, but we're not we're not staying here. We fought for the territory, but we're not staying here because look at that. Oh my god. That that is you know you talk about periodic victories and unlikely victories. To be honest, everywhere just needs to churn out more men. Everywhere needs more men. The Mughals are too strong. They are so strong. Even all the firepower got ranged against them. Like, look, they've got they've got multiple stacks here ready to go. We might have taken them out, but we're, we're pulling those guys out. <laughs> they fought well, but we probably need we do literally need probably five or six armies. Am I going to lure them to attack Calcutta? Absolutely, I am. But yeah, I'm probably going to need five or six armies to land in the uh, southern southern US. Which means that I'm going to need to do some building up in um, Britain, France, and Spain. I mean, I do have tr those troops near St. Petersburg. They could also be diverted. Um, but I do think I want them to focus on the invasion of mainland India. Ooh, I have an, I have a, uh, I have an existing breach. So let's put. A unit of guns facing both of those. Let's get 
some infantry on the wall. So there's a, there, there is a way to do it. So if you drag from the gatehouse away from the gate, they always deploy funny. You have to go from outside in to make that work. Well, make it work most of the time. Maybe the other corner? Come on. Well, no one says Empire doesn't have its problems. Yeah, deploy men on the walls, because they, if they run around to the gate, then we can take advantage of that and shoot the bejesus out of them. But we do, that does leave us with quite a strong elite infantry force left, which will be waiting to see where they go. They may make their own breaches. But we have our howitzers ready to rain down some quicklime hell. We have another spare unit of artillery. And we have our general, one unit of cavalry. And another unit of engineers. So, where's their guns? There they are. To be honest, there's not really any point in making them attack their artillery. Breaches are fine. So, here is where they're going for. So this unit fall back. And that is their only objective. Actually, you might try and go for the units that are trying to walk around the flanks, because you'll get a better angle on them. Get my engineers up to deploy stakes, although I don't think they actually have any... Well, if they, do, if they do have cavalry, it's not very much. Still, I'll take stakes. You men fire it well off. Deploy stakes. Yeah, they're going to make... They're getting, they're getting in, all right. When they start getting closer to advancing around the flanks, I'll redeploy my men. Until then, I'll be content to uh, carry on my current strategy. You guys could do with redeploying because neither, neither of you units are actually deployed in the way I'd like you to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this can be part of the problem is sometimes spikes, they deploy so wide they're actually trying to run outside of the fort. We've retreated a levy there. So they are attempting to climb the gates here, but it does look like their main objective is... The main objective is the, the existing gaps in the wall, which is not an issue. Uh, yes, yeah, so the artillery is now was trying to uh, deploy. Let's put my grenadiers here. Well, that's a great hit. Okay, they've got their breach. So you guys drop quick climb in the centre here. You men fire it well off. You marines are fire it well off. You men stand and ready. Stand ready to fight. So they are pouring in. So you men are attacking these musketeers. So in terms of the units that were pushing around the flanks, that's softened somewhat, so we can 
move some of our units back. Get our marines here. So these dervishes were getting shot in the flank during their attack. So I might actually move you guys a bit more aggressively like so. Yeah, they're too close to provide quick climb support directly on the breach. Which is a pity. There we go. So again, you can see it's starting to chug. Rockets coming in. So let's take... Well, you make sure your attacking unit's coming in. You make sure your... Um, I don't know, actually. We can deal with the rockets later on. Their artillery isn't firing. But yeah, so now all the men in the breach have actually... Well, they're charging our unit of marines, the 24th, who are taking a bit of a hammering. So this unit of line can advance. We'll advance nearby. Okay, I might move... Good. Take it be firing positions like you're supposed to. Rather than... I think they're obsessed with trying to shoot at the men on the walls here. Which obviously we aren't so bothered by, but it looks like we are going to repel the attack on the breach. And these units are going to be uh, pouring some real devastating fire into the these men here. You guys cease fire because I don't want you shooting at them anymore. So that marine unit is taking a bit of a hammering. You guys are doing some real damage to those musketeers. Got some dervishes there are going to attempt to flank, but they're going to get fired to, shot to bits by my infantry here. I mean, I might... I could trundle my guns up here. So I've got marines here waiting to hold, or waiting to get involved in this action. So you... Switched around... Oh, you can't actually... No, you can't hit the um, guns from here. You guys both switched around shot and engage the general. quite sure where you guys have decided to run to instead. I don't know. Oh, you, you could do some good stuff up there, maybe. But if I trundle my guns up, what I'm thinking that will give us is some close range... Okay, let's throw my other marines into play, because who have they got here? They're just seeking musketeers. I thought they might have been something a bit shadier. So you men attack that musketeer unit because they are now sending more men up the wall. Unlimber. These men are again, they're just blasting. Oh, are these expat infantry, can they, do these guys have an angle on the action over here? would be quite useful, but it will take some time because I want us to run out. But I want you guys to shrapnel sh to canister shot that section of the wall right there. Actually, shrapnel it. Shrapnel seems to have a bigger morale effect. Fire the cannon! There we go. So, part of the issue is I don't think we're gonna... I mean, you guys get up here. Otherwise, we're going to lose the gate. Oh yeah, you guys are firing well off because you can't be trusted to not do the wrong thing. Okay, you men attack the musk attack the infantry. There we go. As soon as we give the bring the guns up, 
So my inf my militia can take, or my strong unit of marines can take position. My weaker unit can take can have a break. So in terms of the men that are trying to push around, well, they did make it to my line. That unit of levy, interesting, good to know. Okay, so thank God, nothing, nothing too bad happened there. So get one of my howitzers to quick climb. Yeah, see, they're starting to come back because it's a. They've suddenly gone. Hey. Okay, right. We actually might start quick climbing attack ground near the guns because that's what we need to take out now no you guys run away break off attack because those are uh, Addy so they are armoured cavalry they're pretty good yeah the rocket the the um, rocket artillery is still doing the business. Okay, now you guys have actually... There's, there's no one to shoot at up here. And you guys can occupy this section of the wall. You guys can get back. Here comes the musketeers again, and here comes the cavalry again. My shrapnel shots have gone off, and that's caused the cavalry to, to have a change of heart. But I'm hoping we can chip away at some of this cavalry. We're manning the guns again up on the main up on the main uh, the main position. Yeah, so we're attacking the marines, and they're also getting shot in the rear. And these are marines as well, so my marines might take some some damage from that sort of musketry, but I can't help but feel it's worse for them. Yeah, so some of them are coming back. More rocket artillery. But let's attack ground here. Should chip away at... Yes, definitely chip away at the cavalry. So I'm doing this because I want to run my cavalry out here to take out the rockets, but I don't really want to do that until their cavalry is depleted and these misses with quick climb aren't helping. To be honest, I might make one of them attack with round shot, because we could well make one of these cavalry units actually... We could spur them into the assault. Yeah. So we're going to get chipped away by the rockets. There goes the artillery. One of these cavalry units is wavering. To be honest, you might be better served just attacking them with both with round shots. That you're actually not in range. And I, I, I always feel it feels like round shot fires fast fires um faster. I don't know if there's any real evidence for it, but it always feels like round shot is a faster round. I mean, one thing I could do is run out my Dragoons and use them as a as bait. Okay, they ran away. So let's get my Dragoons out. No, they're both going to run away. Good stuff. End battle. So that's one... Um, Indian force chewed up, but obviously we are going to want to 
recruit more men to keep the offensive out away from the city because that's very much a back foot approach which we don't want um so the offensive in the southern u.s is a bust i mean i'm not going to bother making you sail anyway i'm just going to get i'm just going to get you to run all the way to india good so you've been your city's been upgraded so can i move you out i suspect not no minus 17 no way jose you are on your way towards the plains nations people so I see a lot of ships have arrived somewhere so let's keep let's just do some building work because we all it's stuff that we all need to do so you men replenish so you've recruited a bunch of cavalry you're recruiting getting some artillery let's just spam out east india company infantry here see so down here in ceylon no oh, let's not get carried away uh, okay keep building upgrades going so you probably can't leave georgia still either minus three one more turn you're exempt from tax so don't forget that and they, so some of these people have lost their overall orders so the first step is going to be pushing them up to the afghan front line so you're coming down to Nerun. as are you as are you you're also going up to afghanistan we've got a number of forces converging on Basra, waiting for passage to the mainland. Can you leave Baghdad? You can indeed. Good stuff. Because you will soon be ready. In terms of fleet arrives. So who is where? No one is here. The Mexico is there. Are these all unoccupied then? Fascinating. Just pick one then. So back at Europe. So you're in good shape. Okay, so in terms of fleets, you are actually going to land here and attack Katak. Well, actually, I've got a few ideas. So I, can, I want to disembark you. You will put Katak under siege. You can advance to this slot here to act as a blocking force for any troops that might attempt to try reinforce. I've got another army. Oh, bit of a frame rate drop there. Sell so you to here as well. To be honest, we might just deploy all these armies to reinforce the Calcutta region because we need to uh, get some growth going. Let's disembark this army here. Your job is to march south. Clear the way. They're embarked, so that should be okay, but I want you to get to the bridge. If you get to the bridge, you can hold quite a significant force there. And you... I mean, they were going to attack southern, uh, southern India, so you might actually sail to Calcutta itself and deploy out in the field ahead of Bengal so that we don't have as many... Well, we've got some armies ahead of the, uh, the main city. So you men disembark. And advance up threat. You guys get back to Calcutta and you guys can all replenish. 
Let's recruit another ship here. So I can transport the Ceylon force up, probably up to Calcutta as well. You've done all the fleets arrived. Agent detected. We found... Did you break our pleasure gardens, you devil? So we've got some more recruitment going on. Bengal's recruited a bunch of people. It finished off the army in Iraq that was recruited. Quebec. That's another army that's done. I mean, we could stand to be a lot more offensive than we are in North America, but I'm, I'm content to kind of build up. So, let's take you and push you up to the crossing point and give you some backup. You guys are still replenishing here. Okay, so... Howitzers, artillery, only one unit of guards because they got destroyed. Workers are on strike in Lower Louisiana, I don't doubt it. But you men are going to fall back to Giovanni Casanova. And we're going to bring you guys back because you are not enough. We need a sig much more significant force. So you guys are going to pull back to Cuba. And then let's regroup our ships and get them back up to Mobile. They're going to take the city in rapid succession anyway. But at least this army can replenish. It's going to take them an awful long time. And they're going to lose most of that um, experience so you're also growing in strength you have another army down here that can land against okay let's take the fifth rate no let's take the sloop out so we can take carlo to store on to otto branda embark them aboard ship and then we can get the sloop back into safety so you Sail up to Grand Bahama. I mean, let's just do a swap. Like, oh no, I didn't even do it right. Not that it matters. We can take the the Grand Fleet out. They're still not trading. Well, they're not making any money from the Americas, at least from a trade perspective, which is nice. So you're ready to attack these forces and secure Nassau. We're recruiting a whole bunch of ships to do this tra this raiding work, so you can combine... To be honest, I've done that backwards, really. So you guys are staying there. But Louisburg... You're a lone sloop. So let's get you to here. You take position off the coast. Good. So, Europe. The This garrison at Rome, which you guys don't have to be there anymore. Let's march you over to Brest. One of these dragoons is going to become Ricardo Lazari. I'm probably going to get another one. Basilio Rastrelli. So, let's recruit some stuff for you. It's going to take a while to combine these armies together. No, I don't want Colonial Light. Let's get Hussar unit, then let's get... There we go. Not four artillery. We want... Or field artillery, but let's get some actual howitzer support. And again, I like, I don't know why I like going for cavalry first. Then let's get two heavy cavalry and a regiment of horse for you guys. Again, similar artillery layout. Although I've gone slightly, I've got less cavalry here. 
can't recruit any skirmishes because they're we've all we've maxed i oh, know we haven't where are you riflemen soon to be maxed out so those men are both going to be recruiting madrid madrid can start to recruit infantry columns to send up to the north so that will be two armies that are done we've got three that are being recruited so that's five obviously over here we've got guys that should be put to use. So let's get heavy cavalry because we are in England and some hussars as well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 24. Yeah. And I might want to check my. I oh, can't recruit any more 24 pounders because the place where they recruit 24 pounders is, is fully booked up. So we're going to recruit some 12s. There we go. This will be max recruitment in Edinburgh and in London. Good. We're going to start making some good progress there. This infantry doesn't need to be in Amsterdam anymore. Neither do all of you guys. So you guys march along to here too. Nah. Oh yeah, we just we don't have to worry about that. Um, actually, Paris itself doesn't require any dragoons, so let's keep you nearby. So you're critical. You, I forgot to finish recruiting. So let's get a garrison guard, two engineers, the last rifleman, and let's get a bunch of infantry for you. So I'm still making 191,000 a turn, which is pretty good. We know that the... That we've got trade zones that are completely empty, so let's get these chaps to start mass recruiting privateers and fifth rates to go occupy trade nodes. So, Agostino Cardano... Declare war on Kabul. You march on the capital. You march to the crossroads to the north. You march to the to the bridge to the south. You guys. Okay, you get my spy to start to scout the desert. So you are going to attack this stack. You're going to go here to make sure they don't march through. You're going to go straight through onto Zahedan. You're going to go straight through down to here. You're going to push up to the north of that. Might take you a few extra turns. Again, you're on the way south. You're both on the way south. Let's give these guys loftier targets. Because they are further away. They've got more, much more distance to cover. Okay, you're going a really, really funny direction. Romano, you're still securing the capital. Interesting that the fastest direction, the fastest route from there is around up from the... From the... Um, from the north. So yeah, we're going after Ahmedabad. So what we do need to do is to, is to start using our... I mean, if we can take Katak, that gives us a steam dry dock, which we can use to start building lots of ships to pen in their fleets. And I might actually take... Well, no, you're actually pretty good. Because that means we get some fairly heavy ships in the right areas. So how many fleet armies are you? That's five armies. You could land near our cot... Potentially. Or do I land you somewhere like Satara? Because that would really start to screw them up. But the first thing we're going to want to do is to take Mr. Balbus. Or can we actually demand the surrender? No. So we're going to fight and take the city of Katak. It's not going to be massively important um, or difficult because the garrison is weak. I don't want to water resolve. I don't want to cause these guys to get attrited. 
and we're going we're gonna to capture it and then immediately start building walls. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the, the Assault on Katak. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>